Utah police officer has been arrested after he allegedly attacked his girlfriend. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live with the charges he is now facing. Roy. Nicole and investigators say this all started as an argument between this officer and his girlfriend after they had spent the night out partying. Well, that officer has since been relieved of his police duties with the Miramar Police Department. You are looking at the mugshot of 26-year-old Joshua Baguandas. He is a Miramar police officer who was arrested Monday and now facing felony charges after investigators said he became violent with his girlfriend of two years. In the arrest affidavit we obtained, it states she and Joshua got into an argument after she said she noticed a text message from his ex-girlfriend. When she refused to speak with him about the text messages, Joshua allegedly straddled her, pinned her to the bed, and began to choke her. The victim said she told Joshua, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. He responded with, I don't give an expletive. If you're talking, you can breathe. The report states she ran free when she was chased down and pulled back into their home when she said Joshua told her to get the expletive back inside. She responded with, I don't want to go back inside. She called 911 and Joshua was arrested by Miramar police later that day. Roy Ramos with Local 10 News. We wanted to speak with you about Joshua and his arrest. I went to the home of a relative of the Miramar police officer, and while no one answered the door, it was clear those who we heard behind the home didn't want to speak with us. Are you aware that he was arrested, ma'am? The Miramar police chief, on the other hand, reacting to the arrest with this statement that read in part, the arrest illustrates the department's commitment to enforcing the law without favor. We encourage all victims of domestic violence to come forward without fear, knowing that we take these matters seriously. An administrative investigation is also underway. And Joshua has since faced a Broward County judge. He is now being held with no bond. For now, outside of the Broward County Jail in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.